Settle in, motorsports fans. It is the final day of the PRI Show 2019. We have so much to show you, so much bench racing. Let's start with a few female racers. Hey. Good morning, ladies. How you doing? I got my glasses on. I can't see my right, 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 my own name. I see we're signing some autographs. Yeah. Perfect. I said, you know what we didn't see? We didn't see Jack. <laughs> well, you got me now. He might have been in the gym. Uh, was you in the gym, Jack? Well, we may or be. may not have been. I, I, I want to catch up with you guys, though. How much fun has this show been for you? How beneficial has this been for you? You know, every year has been uh, a new eye-opening experience. Um, folks are starting to recognize the face and the name, which um, we're really grateful for. Um, you've missed my interview on the NHRA stage, by the way, Jack, but um, I forgive you. We'll, get, and, uh, we'll see if we can get a copy. Somebody text me a copy and we'll be good. PRI is always awesome. Great people here. They do a great job putting it together and, and uh, informing us of everything going on. So. I love it. How about for you, Fast Andy? Good show? Um, of course. Um, new faces, old faces. Um, we want to make some changes to our program, so this is the place to be to do that. You get all sorts of resources for new technology, old technology, you know, put it all together, spin it out, see what we can spit out for next year. So I like it from start to finish. Um, I've already got a new strategy for next year, so I'm excited to, to put that into place because I think we miss a lot. There's so much to take in and so much to do and meet and network that it really needs to be a, a bigger team effort than just what I can provide. Sure. And in Pro Stock Motorcycle, every bit of funding helps, right? Oh, absolutely. And it's more than just funding. It's, um, you know, the technology, the, the insight, the, the strategy of how to get it down the track better. So, we're excited. Glad you had a great show and very excited for you. Nitro Harley this year. Are you ready to become the first woman out there in the NHRA on a Nitro Harley? Well, I think I've been preparing for it for several years, so I would I'd like to say yes. You know, I, uh, it's a big it's a big category. I mean, the one of the things that folks don't realize the current racing application that I've been doing at the eighth mile on this top fuel Harley is is the speed that I'm topping out at on my current application so the the stepping stone is huge um, with all respect to to everyone in the category you know I'm licensed now that's a great thing it's a piece of paper I still have some testing to do but we're um, we'll be out on the platform anxious for the sport to get more attention as well as the category it should be a really exciting year. When do you plan on making your debut in the NHRA? So, I'm kind of non-committal. Uh, our race team will be in Pomona for the opener. Rich Reeland will be representing Dream Chaser Racing. And uh, as my time on in the seat becomes, you know, I'm more comfortable, I will probably make an announcement. Uh, but I'd like to be out there for a majority of the races uh, for the 2020 season. Can't wait. And Fast Andy, we'll see you in Gainesville. Absolutely. I just had an idea. Maybe one of these days we need to team you guys up. We know that Indy and Gainesville, we could have the two fastest women out there teaming up. We right? don't race Gainesville this year. But oh, they took Gainesville away. That's right. Yeah, so what Indy. Are, Indy. Indy. U.S. Nationals. We've got to get you guys together. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Can't nice wait. Track. Thanks so much, guys. Those are some nice stickers, sir. Oh, What's yeah. your name? My name is Joe Butler. They call me Zip. Where are you from? Toledo, Ohio. What do you race? Uh, I got a pro, pro stock drag bike. Awesome. And do you watch the Cycle Drag YouTube channel? All the time. I love it, man. Thanks so much. Thank you. Always the meeting spot. Who do we have over here? I see some familiar faces. How you doing, sir? What is your name? Johnny Bond. And where are you from? Peoria, Illinois. We know you well. What do you got over here? Hey, I got a CycleDrag.com. You're the man. Who do we have with you? I got my wife, Georgia. Son, Excellent. I got my nephew Rob and my niece Tracy. Well, welcome, all, guys. All the binds. And you had one heck of a performance at the NHDRO St. Louis race. Yes. Motorcycle almost back together. What's the status? Yes, we put it back together and made it down to Valdosa, and we had a major, major problem. My rim come apart. Oh no. And we flip flop all the way down the track for eight miles. 
And that was one scary, scary ride. Well, thank goodness you're okay and you're here to talk about it. Yes, huh? sir. That's that's for sure. We'll look forward to seeing you in 2020. Thank you. Thanks so much, guys. Thank Thanks you. for being thank here. You. Awesome. Awesome. Hanging out at NGK Spark Plugs. We know it takes a lot of spark plugs to run top fuel. Larry, I saw you talking with the lovely Lilo over here. What's going on? Well, you know, uh, we met and uh, we actually we're going to Finally, after all these years, I finally get to be with the spark plug I love, NGK. I, I was telling Leela yesterday that I, uh, you know, I came up in the motorcycle industry and at working at a dealership, and all we do is NG has always done NGK spark plugs. Matter of fact, that my store, the uh, sole spark plug we sell is NGK. Just never been able to uh, actually meet the right person to be able to, to to be associated with NGK in a in a. Uh, a racing atmosphere in, in which yesterday Leland and I made the deal and we're for, for definitely for 2020 and we hope for longer than 2020 uh, we're going to be in GK and uh, they're going to be supporting me and I'm going to support them right back. Leela, congratulations. We know NGK is such a huge name, but now to have your spark plugs in the world's quickest and fastest motorcycle, what's yeah. that mean to you? <laughs> Blown away. I'm speechless. That's gonna be I've been great. watching Larry for a while and magically he appeared yesterday and I was, I'm blown away right now. Well, we appreciate it. Thanks so much, NGK. And Larry, I'll tell you, I don't know if you told Leela, you're about, what, seven thousandths away from running a 40? Maybe that spark plug will be the little extra difference you need, well, right? Well, we think so because uh, actually the spark plug's made a little bit different, which is going to give us a little bit better combustion as Leela was telling me yesterday. So. That might give me that little extra power that I need. So um, I'm looking forward to uh, 2020 already. It's, it's just um, it's going to be awesome to be involved with her. And she's a. I feel like I've known her all my life. Now we met yesterday face to face, and now it's like I'm going. I got all excited to see her. I said, "Man, I'm so glad to see her." I'm hollering and waving, and it's just great to be involved with a great company like NGK. Leela, where are you based out of? Michigan, Lake oh, Michigan. We're gonna have to find a way to get you to a race. I know you're probably super busy, but we would love to have you in attendance. Absolutely. We'll Maybe we can get her to Norwalk or something oh, like that. That's a close one. Oh, that would be nice. We'll yeah. keep we'll keep you posted. We'll get all your info. Yeah. But we're excited, guys. 2020, Larry Spider-Man McBride and NGK teamed up. When you go 264 miles an hour with no roll cage, you better have a helmet you can trust. And Larry McBride, you've always trusted Simpson. Tell me about these great guys that you're standing with here. Well, I've been involved with Simpson pretty much my whole race career. Um, I've been dealing with Alan uh, with my helmet for the last, I don't know, probably at least the last 30 years I know of for sure. So um, it's just been an honor to be able to have the Simpson product and stay with the same company for that many years. I think it speaks to your safety and your reputation when a guy goes that fast with no roll cage, he trusts you with his life. What's that mean to you? It means a lot, you know, and Larry's such a great guy to work with. It's really cool to be involved with. How does it feel to have the world record when it comes to drag bikes and know that the man who did it did it with a Simpson helmet? It's fantastic. I'm very proud to be associated with Larry and Simpson and Allen. I'm a newbie. I've only been here 19 years. And these guys got it on me, but I'm proud to be associated with them. Well, thank you so much, guys. And Larry, I think everybody out there needs to get a Simpson, right? Simpson's number one. We know how important valves are, especially on the world's quickest and fastest motorcycle. And Larry, you're standing here with a longtime sponsor, John from Ferreira, who is taking a hands-on approach. You got to bring me up to speed because you guys were talking. I said, this is way too interesting on well, what's going on. You know, John, John, not only has he been a longtime supporter of Larry McBride racing, but he's also a, a friend. He's right there, in, you know, from Virginia there. So sure. It's, so it's, uh, it's been a perfect match, and John's always been a great friend and, a, and very great in, in trying to help me get to where our goals are with, with the product. Now we're running into a little bit of issue uh, with what we're running right now, and John's working on some new stuff, so I'm going to kind of turn it over to John and let him explain it to everybody. Well, when you're when you're running what you run, and you keep doing what you're doing, we keep going further than we've ever gone before. Not trying to sound like Star Trek or anything, but going where no one's gone before becomes very interesting to companies like ourselves because it challenges us to create better products to survive in these extreme situations. And so, what we're looking at is taking the valve getting it thicker through here, 
through the neck area, running an outward taper, a little bit bigger radius, giving it more stability, and going to a material and a heat treatment process that's going to give it a little more stiffness. You're not having an issue with wear from a malleability standpoint. And we do that a lot with a lot of our other materials because there's a fine line between ductability and durability. Because when we're ductile, it allows us to do this. And I believe you recognize that valve. Oh, 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 oh. I recognize that valve. Wait a minute. That's one of my valves. That's one of your valves? Yeah. What went wrong there? Well, a little too that much was, heat there. <laughs> and a little detonation, a if little I remember de correctly. A little detonation, and then and everything stuck open, piston hit, and it was just a, and it just folded up. But there again, we're lucky we have this kind of material. It didn't break it off. Right. This so not it's not catastrophic. Right. And the big thing that you look at here is that's where we started. <laughs> And this is where we're going to have to kind of get to is getting this area so that it's not doing this as much, but we don't want to get to a point that if something's catastrophic, that it creates a giant nightmare. Because this is a bad day, but it's not a catastrophic day. You know, that's the reality of it. And for, for those out there that don't understand things, this is what happens when his bike detonates. Exactly. Wow. It's uh, it's crazy, and that's why we we've been working with valve technology with John for quite a while. And we're using a great product that they make right now. And it's called a Super Alloy which name of it for you. But now that we've increased the horsepower, we've increased everything in it. I had to go to John and say, John, we got to do something. We've got to do something. So he really looked into it. So we're looking at some uh, different materials, and that's the whole thing that Foray is all about is making it going to be easier. For John to do it, if he gets another person in my situation, he'll know exactly right. what to do. So we also uh, do R&D work for Bray, trying sure. to make sure we know this product's going to work before we actually sell it on the market. Right. Well, and the thing that you look at is when you look at your bike and what you're doing, and we look at all these markets that are out there now where you got a 2JZ Toyota, you got the Nissan GTRs, you got the Suzuki street bikes, you got the other Suzuki drag bikes. When you're looking at all these markets that maybe aren't even nitro, they're maybe on alcohol, but they're running so much boost that what we learned from your technology transitions right into what we're doing for these guys to help them live. Like the product, I mean, we've, the, got, we've got inline six cylinders now that make 2,800 horsepower on alcohol. Unbelievable. This, this is so educational and insightful. I just want to say thank you, Ferreira, for continuing to push the envelope and forge ahead here with technology. Larry, it's a very important part of your program. Very important, because without these right here, we don't go fast without the great valve technology. And that's, that's a good thing that's been great about being involved with John. He's always uh, accepting uh, any ideas we have, and then he comes back, he gets with his engineers, they come back to me, and we come we come to a deal. But I have to listen to them because I'm in the racing business. They're in the racing business, but they're in the racing business to make products to work for us racers. So their goal is to have a product that, that we can test, we can go out and make, prove that it works, they can settle with all the confidence in the world for this and other application and know it's going to work, not no guesswork. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. You got it. Enjoy. Look who we got, world's quickest, or is it fastest high, quickest, quickest, quickest high boost racer, Mark Randall Luke, and Pete Brown, who was involved in the build of that bike. Yes, sir. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, Mark contacted me, what, two years ago? Yeah, it was right after the World Finals ended. About switching from nitrous to turbo boosa, and he just went in gung-ho and this was after Aaron Linton's bike, right? Yeah, well, it's actually no, before, after, before, Aaron's, before bike. Aaron's bike was built, we were discussing it because I told him if we were going to do another chassis again, I wanted to work with him and because we had had some discussions about his ideas on chassis work and yeah. his work so meticulously beautiful. And I had to have one of his chassis. So I flew out to talk to him. Uh, after we talked on the phone, we discussed some things that I like, the way the bike fits around me. He, he was so susceptible to the ideas. He was like, hell yeah, I'm on board, man. Let's build it. So. Well, it's been fun to watch. We're going to see five seconds this year? What do you think? We're working on it. Oh. We're doing six, our best. Six, six O's, I, six O's I are right six around O's the corner. Sure. Awesome. You guys having a good PRI show? Absolutely. Great show. Thanks for being here.
Too Fast Nitro Men. Larry Spider, Man McBride, Mike Salinas. Great to see you guys. Mike, we're talking about Larry's 550, 264 on two wheels. What do you think about that? I wanted to be him. I was, as he was going down the track, I'm going, that could be me. I just got to go hang out with him and learn how to do it. But it was awesome. Set a world record, beautiful. I mean, he's the man. Larry, you might have to build Mike a bike, it sounds like. Well, you know, you don't ever know. I tell you, you know, the Scrappers racing team, these guys have met Mike uh, formally at, uh, last year at over Bill Miller's deal. And, man, we just kind of hit it off together. Got to, you know, meet Gianna, and it's just been a great, a great relationship. We, uh, Mike even invited me over to the shop last year because we were missing flights and things was happening. But, you know, everything worked out good. And, and now I'm a major fan of, of, of Mike's deal. So, so he's we, my hero and I'm his. <laughs> absolutely. We, we keep a close eye on him. And, you know, Alan Johnson's been always been a dear friend of mine, which has been a yep. friend of uh, Mike's for a long time, and uh, just proud to be involved with these guys. And, you know, his whole family races, not just Mike, but his daughter. And she does great in A Fuel. Yep. I mean, it's, you know, Gianna running the Pro Stock deal, and her deal's coming along good. And uh, I'm excited. I got to see Gianna walk down this aisle. Uh, I think it was Thursday, and I think it was Thursday. Got to talk and just spoke to her a little bit. And, uh, Keep her positive, and, and she's come a long way. And uh, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of great things that I know that Gianna's going to do. And now her confidence level is getting better and better, and that's why we're, we're very happy to see her. Well, speaking of Gianna, we've had some time to digest it and reflect on what was one of the craziest, wildest, most unpredictable days in pro stock motorcycle history. How are you feeling now, looking back on that special you know, day? It was, it was an amazing day, and you know it's really funny in this sport. She didn't get lucky. She had luck on her side, but, but her team was prepared, and the other teams weren't prepared to do what she did, and that's why she won that race. So I, I give her all the all the um, greatness that she did that day. She stayed focused, did her job, ran her race. She didn't care who she was racing, and she prevailed at the end, which was really nice. And Larry, I know you and your brother, you guys were cheering along in Newport News, Virginia, watching NHRA oh, absolutely. TV. Oh, well, I thought it was so great, because you know, at Dinwoody last year, I had a chance to uh, actually sit down and talk to Gianna and just tell her, you know, how long I had been racing and, you know, that, that this is a really hard sport. And, and she unfortunately picked the hardest class to go into. And, and it's such a finesse class. And my class, Top Fuel, is compared to what they have to do. We're really fast and really, but our bikes are a little bit more forgiving as far as if you make a little mistake, it don't show up on the ET. If they make a little mistake, it shows up a lot. But she is, she picked the hardest sport. It's like I told her, and to, to, to go into and and I commend Mike for supporting her and what he does. And she's got a lot of support. We love her. Andrew Hines should be sending her a big Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, I hope there was so, a nice gift. Yeah, I mean so. Uh, because he definitely owes her one, and, and, and we're just proud to be uh, uh, a friend of the Salinas's and uh, to be uh, all a part of drag racing. It was awesome, Mike. Mike, finally here, your plans next year. I heard you saying some of the girls are going to be stepping up. What's going on for 2020? Yeah, we have um, Jasmine will continue to run A Fuel one more year. Um, Gianna will stay on her bike one more year, and then the following year she should have her own team. Um, and then I have my youngest daughter, Janae, will start training with uh, Sean Langdon for A-Fuel. She'll come in at um, Super Comp first, messing around a little bit, and then we'll get her up to speed, and she'll run probably five races in A-Fuel. And both of the older girls in the future will be in top fuel. I see, I see some of the, the lovely women of Team Scrappers over here. You guys ready for 2020? Yes, we are. Awesome. Very excited. Can't wait. It's going to be a great. You got big shoes to fill after this Gianna story, huh? Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's, um, that was really exciting to watch and just motivating me even more. Well, we'll see if we can make some more magic in 2020. Mike, I think the only thing you might be missing is a Scrapper's Top Fuel motorcycle. Just saying. You know? <laughs> It, it has crossed my mind, but uh, I'm a little short for Larry's bike, but uh, I can ride on it like a monkey. <laughs> hey, hey, we can... to, well, I'm trying to figure out how to change my name to Selena, so maybe I can get a, we can have a top fuel, a Scrapper's top fuel bike. I love it, guys. Well, good luck to everybody, 2020. Cannot wait. Appreciate it. Hanging out at the PRI show, we got some racers. What's your name, sir? Jeremy England. Where are you from? Cincinnati, Ohio. What do you race? A couple high boosters. Love it. How about you? Travis Coates, Cincinnati, Ohio, ZX14. How about you? 
I don't race, I sell parts. That's right, you like going to the races? <laughs> I do like going to the races. Most important question, do you guys watch Cycle Drag? Oh, absolutely. I love it, thanks for being here. Boy, Larry, you never know who you're gonna find. We found some fast individuals here. The lovely Miss Karen Stouffer, Gary Stouffer. Gotta love it, right? Everybody's a PRI. See, I Everybody. thought that I found the fast one. He's the fast one that I found. Well, that's what I wanna ask you guys yeah. about. I know you follow along. What do you think about 550, 260, four? I was floored, I was but there. he was there. So I got, I got live it. video. It was awesome. Right. Pretty back impressive. We were, back we were parked right next to him, so I got to see everything. Oh, oh probably more than we can show on this video, yeah. I'm sure, right? Yeah, we won't go, we won't go there. Yeah. It was great. Gary's a great guy. I'm just <laughs> glad to have all my friends there. And, you know, I'm a major, major, major Karen Stouffer fan oh. and always have been and a major supporter. She uh, went back when she was with Geico. You come up and get all the Geico free milk, you know, all the oh, stuff, yeah. the pins. That, that way I didn't have to buy pins. Little get-go stuff, get-go stuff. I like it. did all that, like take back it. to the grandbabies, and it was awesome. And um, just proud to be a friend of theirs and be associated with them. You know, these are our family. Our family. It is. It's We're a big family, family reunion. Family. It's wonderful. That's right. Karen, any plans for 2020 yet that oh, we know? That's, that's top secret. Top Canada. secret. Yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> we will see you guys out there. You'll we... see us in okay. some capacity. Well, you know me. I'll actually, we'll see you in Pomona. Whoa, that's a big teaser. Yeah, maybe so, Pomona as a competitor or Pomona? Maybe, maybe in four wheels. We'll, maybe, see. we'll see. Wow, Larry, this is just too much. Uh, my senses are tingling here. Well, we got to get to the bottom of this story. But well, we can't wait. You know, um, uh, I think she's got some good things in the plans. Whatever she decides to do, she's going to do very well at it. I can guarantee you that. Last question. How about Karen Stouffer on a top fuel motorcycle oh, someday? We already have a girl coming out there. Yeah. You know? That's right. Yeah, it, would be, it would be really cool. Um, I have small. a good teacher. I, I would, I would, I, if, you know, she would definitely, I would definitely teach her. Would not let her do it without teaching her how to do it. But, you know, I, I would give her if, if she was to come and want to go top fuel. I think I would. Uh, my biggest uh, advice is what she does. I think is ten times more than what we do. I'm too big to do what she does. And I'm I think too, too small to do what I do. <laughs> well, we're both in the right spot. So we, I think we're both. We would both give each other the, the right uh, the, the, the right advice, and and that would be my advice to her. Because I don't think we could build a bike small enough. I mean, she's the perfect size for pro stock, and she's very good at what she does. And she has nothing to prove to nobody. We know she could do it if she wanted to do it. But she needs to stay right in the pro stock and keep making all of us top fuel guys proud of her. There you go. The quote that I heard from you telling somebody that wanted to get on your bike, well, we'd have to stretch you. <laughs> yes, yes, we'd have, we'd, have to, we'd have to hang them up for a few days and keep adding weights to them and see if we can stretch them. Oh, my gosh. Well, guys, looking forward to 2020. It's going to be a great year. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, can you believe it? The Roaring Twenties coming back. Hoping for a good season for everybody. Thanks, Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks, Jack. PRI 2019 rolls on. A huge motorcycle drag race going to take place at the Norwalk Night of Fire, August 8th, 2020. Larry, you will be there. It's going to be so exciting, and we just found out. Jill from Lemons of Love has something special planned. Jill, tell us what we're going to do. We are going to bring cancer care packages to the track. We're going to have Larry sign cards from the famous Spider-Man, put those in the care packages, and we're going to deliver those to a hospital right near Norwalk and get them into cancer patients' hands, a gift from Lemons of Love and Larry. Uh, Larry, so many reasons to look forward to the Night of Fire, and now it is all for a good cause on the well, motorcycle yeah, the big side. The news was to let everybody know that I was going to the Night of Fire along with Sam Wheels, Mitch Brown, you know, different people in the, in the race. But you know what I'm more proud of right now? and I'm tingling, the hair is starting to stand up on my arms to be involved. I'm so glad we're going for the Lemons of Love so I can give back to the Lemons of Love to give to these cancer patients. And, uh, oh God, it's, uh, whew. It, 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 I it, can't it wait. Almost, it'll, almost make you, it'll almost make you a little teary. Well, it made me a little teary, so. Well, if you're tingling just, now, wait till August 8th, 2020. Lemons of Love, Norwalk Night of Fire, Top Fuel Motorcycles. We're gonna rock it. Done we're gonna deal. Rock it. We're gonna awesome. rock it. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Thank oh, you. Oh, my God. Have a great and we hope to see you August 8th, 2020 at the Norwalk Night Under Fire. I hope you are enjoying this coverage of the PRI show. There are more than 1,100 vendors on display here. We're, we're talking about the parts and pieces that helped Larry McBride go 552-64. Larry, Daily Engineering had a big hand in that, didn't they? A big deal. I've, uh, Bill, I've been working with him a lot of years. I was having a lot of bearing problems. and. Uh, 
Byron Hines, actually said, man, you need to call this guy up, Bill Daly. And I called Bill up and started going to find out that uh, by not mentioning the pump name that we were running, I was not really the correct pump for me and uh, was way over pumped. And people don't understand, how do you get over oil pump? Well, you got to call Bill Daly and he'll tell you exactly how you get over pumped. And, and that's exactly what was happening with me. I love it. Bill, how exciting is it to be involved in this program? World records. I like Larry. He's a kick in the pants every time I see him. How do you do what you do, buddy? <laughs> I just do it. I, I, I get to do it and be involved with good people like this and develop relationships over the, yes, yes, relationship. over, over the years. And it's, it's been good. I always come by and say something smart to him, you know. Um, as soon as he learned that he was wrong and I was right, we got along just fine. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, and I was wrong and he was right. Sometimes it's hard to accept that. And you just had to do, you, you know, we, we continued. And right now, and, and where I'm at now, we've lowered it down to where I'm comfortable with it, but we can still even go with smaller gears. We can make oh, it more. Smaller, yeah. and, right. and we just learned a lot through Bill. And, uh, you know, we opened up side clearances on rods to get more oil flow to get... Um, uh, you know, cooler oil in the bearings and things like that. And, and with his type of um, pump, you know, with the, it's got like supercharger blades in it that return the oil back to the tank, which are uh, incredible. Cause I'll pull up, I'll pull a positive uh, uh, going on my, on my mode. And I'm going to supercharge oil. You're talking about 60 pounds of boost and I'll put a positive. Uh, I mean, I'll go, I'll go one pound to two pound negative on my bike on the just with the oil pump and that's on a nitro motorcycle which is unheard of wow. now it'll go positive on the run of course but uh we expect that with the kind of clearances we run and i'm just proud to be involved with daily oil pumps love it thank you daily engineering I appreciate it you've been a pleasure to work with thanks guys that's a winning team over here hanging out at pri what's everybody reading over here wait wait a minute Spider-Man McBride, you read Drag Racing Edge. That's all I read. Is there another magazine? I love it. That's definitely one of the best out there for sure. We got the guys from Drag Racing Edge. How are you gentlemen doing? Doing good. We're well, Jack. Jack. What's, what's going on with Drag Racing Edge? We love your coverage. Everything's good. We're really looking forward to do more motorcycle coverage in the future. Excellent. How about it, Don? I know you go to a lot of NHRA races. You guys one got it covered. Two. Yeah, one or two. You got the sport covered inside now. We do. We have a great staff. Uh, we love covering people like Larry and, you know, our good friends at E3 Smart Flugs. E3 is always good to get uh, some mentions in the magazine, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Any any opportunity. <laughs> How are things going over at E3? E3 is doing terrific. We're really having a, a great year, especially in racing. Good stuff, guys. Well, if somebody wants a subscription, what's the best way to get a hold of you guys? DragRacingEdge.com. We'll do it. Larry, make sure you get on there and get your subscription. Right here. Good stuff, guys. Thanks so much. Hey, Brent. How about it? You're on the phone. The phone's smoking. We're busy. It's PRI. Woo. Gotta love it. We are continuing on. PRI 2019. Look at all this beautiful candy out here. And, of course, by candy, I mean Arius Pistons. Larry McBride, you got your man Elmer over here. You are a longtime user of Arius Pistons, aren't you? Oh, uh, yes, and a longtime friend of Elmer here. So it's been, it's been an awesome, uh, awesome, awesome relationship for many, many years. And uh, to be honest with you, since 1985. So, um, and then, uh, you know, Arius got sold out. Uh, I, should, I shouldn't say sold out. They actually merged with, with CP, with, with CP, CP. Uh so it kind of it, it kind of worked out good, and I, I've, I've had such a relationship with with Elmer for so many years. Uh, uh, and and we're, we're working on some new stuff to get be back involved with uh, Arius and CP and uh, the whole the whole group was I was involved with them since 1985. So uh, regardless of our situation, they make a great great product. We're proud to have them as our friend and uh, help them sell their products and. Uh, they don't come no better than this guy right here. Congratulations, Elmer. We Elmer. try, man. Hey, we always trying, and uh, good guy over here. Proud to work with him as well. And all that, your pistons are now the world's quickest and fastest motorcycle pistons. How does that make you feel? Oh man, that feels great. I mean, what can you do? You know, I mean, the best part. I say, I'm sorry to say that, but hey, we make it a good part. I mean, Thanks a lot, man. Sport Compact too, brother. Not just motorcycle, but Sport Compact. I got the best part. Oh, yeah. A lot of Sport Compact stuff. So, 
but that all relates right back to motorcycle drag racing also the, the sport compact car stuff really back when the mini pistol back here remember that how about for harleys nitro harleys we we got we got to get this guy some pistons michael b land yeah we're, we're not a problem not a problem not you hear that problem. michael b land I mean, I, I'm sure you go through a few sets of pistons, huh? Recently, a bunch. <laughs> As drag racers, we use pistons, don't we? Yes, sir. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for what you do. We will continue to follow along, and thank you for all the support. Thank, thank you for stopping by, brother. You got Good it. job. People from far and wide, what is your name, sir? Luke Wickes. And where are you from? Madison, Wisconsin. Having a great time here at PRI? Oh yeah, first time too. So. What's your impression first time? Oh, it's a lot bigger than what I thought it was. And I, I've been to a couple smaller pe uh, race performance shows around uh, down in Chicago, Illinois, and down a little down farther down south. And uh, there's nothing, nothing that you could ever think of. This is the granddaddy. Thanks for being here on the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. Larry McBride and Nitro Harley racer Michael Beeland had a great time checking out Machinery Row. In fact, we did an entire 30-minute video dedicated to Machinery Row. If you'd like to check it out, make sure you're subscribed to Cycle Drag on YouTube. That one's very informative. And we got a lot more coming, a lot more bench racing. Leave us your feedback. If you've never been to this spectacle known as PRI, make sure you put it on your bucket list. Well, thank you, gentlemen. That was very insightful. Very insightful. You know, we, we see so much of what goes on at the drag strip, but we don't often get to see the machines that make it happen back at the shop. And all the hard work's done at the shop, right? 80% of the race is won at the shop, right, Larry? Absolutely. There's no doubt about that. That's why my brother's not here. He's working. <laughs> Indeed, while we were having a great time at the show, Steve McBride was back in Newport News, Virginia, making Top Fuel motorcycle parts. PRI started in 1988 with a USAC midget car race team owner, and it started with 196 exhibitors. And it has grown into what you are looking at here. More than 1,100 exhibitors, 750,000 square feet, the show's been held in Louisville, Kentucky, Cincinnati, Ohio, Nashville, Tennessee, Columbus, Ohio, Orlando, Florida, but has really found a home in Indianapolis, Indiana. An appropriate venue being that so much of the racing community is in Indy. The tagline for the event is the business of racing starts here. A lot of fun to walk around with Larry McBride and Michael Beeland too to give you the two wheel perspective. So much news and off season excitement. And we got some more. Continuing to walk around PRI, we're taking a look at the Harley Davidson of Andrew Hines, a championship winner, and here with Larry Spiderman McBride and full spectrum power. Now, what I understand is Vance and Hines, they got a huge budget, they use the best of the best, and they choose full spectrum power. Talk to me about that. That's true. Uh, wow. So, my name is Jason. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is my crew. Nice to meet you as well. Um, and so we're here at PRI, home of Vance and Hines. They are right up the road in Brownsburg and they do in fact use our product. Um, Vance and Hines has been a really good customer for a long time. We do a lot of development with them and it's truly an honor and a privilege to work with guys that are that talented and that focused on winning. Larry, I know on your level, on every level, everybody's looking for the most out of their battery. What's your impression of this great product? Well, I'm gonna tell you, Ben Knight uh, introduced me to Jason and 
Matter of fact, Jason and I was just sitting here talking, and uh, we're actually going to do a deal for 2020, and uh, we're going all full spectrum on my bike. And uh, you know, I like a, I like a winner's battery, so uh, he likes winners. So we want to we, we, we're going to go with uh, full spectrum, and uh, he's just got so much to offer. Uh, you're almost crazy not to have this battery in your motorcycle. So uh, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, we appreciate that. We try real hard, and we are we are not uh, the biggest commercial battery company uh, we choose to focus on being the best so we build everything here in the states and our clients are generally people that are focused on one thing and that's winning and that's really the only thing that matters to us and that's why we do what we do well I want to congratulate you because not only do you have team Vance and Hines who wins a whole bunch now you have the world's quickest and fastest Indeed. motorcycle can you believe that yeah well we must have done something right in another life um, I don't know what that something might be, but we're actually really proud and it's, uh, like I said, an honor and a privilege to be able to support the people we do. And Larry, I know you are very choosy with what goes on your motorcycle. Well, absolutely. You just look at this product and uh, the charger. The thing about it, you get more than just a battery from full spectrum. You get a, you get, most people don't know anything about batteries. They educate you on the battery. They give you the right chargers, teach you how to use it. And uh, that means a big part of it. Um, uh, to be able to give that personalized service is awesome. Yeah. Excellent. And in terms of what your company does, yes, all motorcycle racers out there, do you think you have a battery for just about anybody? Every single one of them. So we make the better part of 45 different SKUs that cover everything from a TTR 125 up to the latest Harley Bagger with a 30 group. If you've got a big stereo, we have a battery for you. If you've got a Nitrous Pro Mod car, we have a 2000 cranking amp battery that is perfect for you. And our clients run that huge gamut from small bikes up to American Flat Track. We're the official battery of American Flat Track. We support the factory Harley team there, the factory Indian team there. We have 80% grid share in Flat Track. Just go to any drag race track and look at what all of the XDA racers are running. Go to NHRA and look at what the winners are running you'll likely find our battery under the skin, regardless of what the sticker on the side of the bike might say. Congratulations, what's the best Thanks, way for Jack. people to get a hold of you? Fullspectrumpower.com, at Fullspectrumpower on Instagram or Facebook, or call us direct from any of the numbers that you can find on our website or on our pages. We are there six days a week, and that is our strength, is the support that we provide you. We are always there to answer questions. Very excited, guys. Thanks a lot for the info, Thanks, looking Jack. forward. To a great 2020. Here with Jason from Full Spectrum Power, and, and Jason, one thing there's one niche group out there, and I'm in it the classic bike, classic car group. I have a KZ1000 that mainly gets stored. I have gone through so many batteries, unfortunately, yeah. in storage. You have a solution. Tell me about it. We do. Um, so, like you, I have many motorcycles, and of course, I never get to ride any of them. They sit in our warehouse. Uh, and of course, these bikes will drain a battery just through parasitic draw, whether it's got an ECU or even a clock on the dash or whatever. So what we did was we designed a circuit board that has what is called a low voltage cutoff. What it does is when the bike is in the process of draining the battery, when it gets to a level that is unsafe for the battery, it cuts off the power. And that's great, and that stops the battery from getting drained and damaged. But we took it one step further because we also know that this can happen you're overnight camping or you're at a bike night and you leave your lights on. So what we did was we've got this boost button right here, this blue button. When you drained the battery and the circuit board has interrupted the party, you can also press this button and it will give you access to enough power to get your bike started and down the road. So for your KZ or for any of my Ducatis that I haven't ridden in many months, sure, sure, you can go through each one of these bikes with a drained battery, press this button and start it and ride it. It's I, pretty cool. I love it. Can't wait to try one out cool. in my classic bike. Thanks right for on. all you do. See ya. Well, guys, you know that the NHRA Pro Stock Motorcycle Harley Davidson team counts on this battery, and you should too. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Jack.
Make sure you get one of those great batteries for your motorcycle. Let's take a look around here as we wind down and see what else we can find. Let us know in the comments where you're watching from. Do you have any questions or feedback? What Driving are your thoughts? PRI 2019, the quickest and fastest man on the planet, Larry McBride. And you know you got the lovely ladies here from Web Camshafts. Guys, how was the show for you? I know you're dressed festively. <laughs> That's one. How was PRI for PRI you? PRI was excellent this year. My Wonderful. highlight was going to the Vance Hines facility, checking that out. That was so cool. Thank you for that. It was very cool. You guys have a good one. You get to yes. meet a lot of the people you do business with. Yep. And Larry, what can you say about webcam shafts and the support that they have given you and Cycle Drag over the years? Wrong question. What, what can you say about them? What, what can't you say about them? It's true. Everything's great. Everything's good. They're the best in the world. Especially the best when they come in about three in the morning and get you up. It's awesome. They cook the <laughs> breakfast was great. The ice cream at 3 30 this morning that I wasn't supposed to have was unbelievable. I love it. Yeah. Wrapping up PRI 2019. It was a great show. And Larry, I see you have found the knowledgeable, lovely ladies of Web Cam Shafts. What was it like working with them this weekend? Oh, it's been awesome. You know, when we come, we try to come every year. Lori missed last year because of her mama due to a, a, a surgery. She had to have a heart surgery, matter of fact. So it was great to have all my girls back here, and uh, they're so knowledgeable on cam shafts, and they actually teach most of these guys around here. Well, I should say 99.9% .9 of them that think they know something until they talk to these girls. Yes, they do. Lori, I love the outfit. How did PR... PRI 2019 go for you? It went excellent. My highlight of the show was uh, going to the Vance and Hines facility and getting to check that out. We totally appreciate that. Thank you. That was great. Did you guys get to talk to a lot of customers and a lot of people you speak with yes. on the phone? You're coming all the way from California, so it's got to be great to come here to Indy, kind of a meeting point. <laughs> yes. Good show for you? Yes. Excellent. We had what, a good time. What's coming up this year for webcam shafts? What can we expect? <laughs> <laughs> Two hundred and seventy seven miles an hour this Hayabusa has been. I heard you say there moments ago you want to sit on a bike that's faster to Larry McBride. There's not a lot of people that can yeah. say that and it right. is true. And, but it was not in a quarter mile. Correct, it was in a mile standing mile. Pretty amazing though. What, you. What's your yeah. impression of this awesome machine? This bike, it's kinda of like I think to quote Guy Martin, because he's very familiar with motorcycles and GP racing and all that kind of stuff. In one of his interviews, TV show, he said he captured in the TT Isle of Man type stuff, those bikes kind of stop accelerating where these bikes continue going. So that's probably best paraphrase yeah. encapsulates what they do best because they never stop making power. Truly amazing. How do you get on it? And now, uh, oh, Larry, Larry. Uh -oh. Okay, any way you want to. Larry, I know you're the speed king that just went 264 in a quarter mile. Could you go 277 on the salt flats on this thing? I'm doing it right now. <laughs> that's, that's, that's standing start. I'm, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> in all seriousness, would you, I mean, you got the pedigree, clearly. Would you ever go on the salt flats? No, sir. And I'm going to leave it to guys that know what they're doing on the salt flats. Um, I'm going to stay with my drag racing. I love what these guys do. I know a lot of salt flats guys and girls and um, I got a lot of respect for them. It's a, it's a special talent to do what they do. Um, I like to go fast for a short period of time. Do you think they like to go fast for a long period of time? They sure do. Do you think any of your skills though would transfer over? Because you know what it feels uh, you like. You know, I would say some of them. You saying all of them? All of them. I would never even uh, attempt to do it unless I had a an instructor to teach me the right way, so you don't get hurt. Uh, I'd have to have somebody like Shane there. To, you know, teach me what to do and what not to do, what to look out for. It's all the things what you, you know, they've done, made so many laps. They know what not to do. They know what to look for. That's what I don't know. Just like how you know all those things on a top fuel motorcycle. Absolutely. I can help. It, it, it works both ways. I like to stay with my profession. So, uh, even though it's in it's motorcycles and two wheels, but these things are bad to the bone right here. Very cool, man. Well, it would be nice to see someday, that's for sure. Larry McBride on the Salt Flats. Think we could ever make it happen? Well, let's also, let's shift gears a little bit. Salt Flats, we have raced on it. This bike is a standing mile. It's a pavement motorcycle. Pavement motorcycle. There so we it's go. a little bit different as far as ballast and acceleration rates. Um, this is currently the world's fastest naked motorcycle in the world at 265. That means no, th that's how it's sitting right now. We've raced it in Loring, Maine in the standing mile. 
Um, it's the world's fastest half mile motorcycle in any 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 place in the world at 241. So, and 277 was our ultimate speed at the Texas Mile. So it's um, it's been a blast. And we, you never know, know Larry. People think Larry, you know, going, you know, six and a half seconds, 260 miles an hour is crazy. If you go, you go uh, a little longer. Uh, okay, here's, a Tommy, here's a Tommy Bolton thing. When, when years ago, Tommy said, hey, what are you running with that bike? I said, man, I ran the, the 10 something. Man, you're crazy. I said, I'm crazy. You're, you're running seven seconds. He goes, man, 10 seconds, that's way too long for something to go wrong. You know? <laughs> Terry Kaiser. And it's the, it's the same thing. You run for two minutes flat out. You better have your ducks in a row. Well, you told me a funny story one hour ago where Elmer Trett said the same thing. Tell yeah, me well, what Elmer said. Well, Elmer, Elmer said to, uh, like a ride a pro stock bike or a... Um, you know, top gas bike or whatever. They asked if he wanted to ever ride one of them. He said, no, nah, they scared me too bad. They looked as if scare you too bad. He said, yeah, because it take too long to get there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Interesting conversation. I want to know in the comments, if given the choice, would you go 270 on this pavement land speed Hayabusa, or would you rather ride Larry Spider-Man McBride's Top fuel motorcycle. Both challenging, frightening endeavors, that's for sure. Okay, yeah. Water, air, ice water for the plenum. This is uh, M1 methanol, VP. Yep. Uh, this is a DME swing arm, so basically what these, this holds uh, number eight lead shot. Right. So yep. we'll fill it with air. This has about, yes, it has about uh, Brock's DSTs. It holds about 50, 55 pounds of ballast here. We've got about, generally, we usually have between 50 and 63 pounds of lead underneath the bottom of the bike. Wow. So it's all about center pressure over center gravity and where you put it. Um, bullseye billet wheel turbo made by Danville Performance. Um, all STPI built. That's my motor. Coupled with Eddie Craywick from Bantam Hines. His head and their product in there. Webcams, of course. we got to have them. And then it's just... Right. What do you think, Mike? Would you ever throw a leg over it? Yeah, sure. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, it's well done. Right. Can you imagine 265, 270? It'd be awesome. When you start going a whole bunch of time, everything else kind of just slows down around here because how'd that pass? That's a, generally, a 270 mile an hour pass lasts 20 seconds. And it feels like it lasts five minutes because everything's like Matrix with Neo. Ooh, Everything slows down, you feel everything, and you come back and look at the data, and you're like, wow, my, my accelerometer is telling me all of that. So it's, it's, it's a good time. Sadly, it was time to pack up PRI, but we wanted to hit our big announcement one more time to make sure everyone was aware of what's going down in Norwalk, Ohio, August 8th. 2020 if you love fast motorcycles be there we promised you a big announcement here it comes you ready mark your calendars for 2020 because we got the world's quickest and fastest motorcycle drag racer and guess what the biggest spectacle in drag racing the biggest most illustrious race and there's been a lot of great ones but there's nothing bigger then the Night of Fire in Norwalk, Ohio, August 8th, 2020. And for the first time ever, we will witness the world's quickest motorcycles presented by Cycle Drag, headlined by this man, Larry McBride. How excited are you to get to Norwalk? I can't wait. I'll tell you, I love going to Norwalk, especially the best part about it is a pound of ice cream for a dollar. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome, guys. August 8th, 2020. We'll see you in Norwalk, Ohio. What a show it was. The only thing that was left was to head to one of the best steakhouses in the country, St. Elmo's. If you've ever had a St. Elmo's steak, let me know about it. Their shrimp cocktail is something special. It is definitely a eating destination in Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh, that's cool. The webcam brick. <laughs> See, I had the logo one done. I'm the only one that had it done. Isn't that cool? <laughs> M Mrs. Laurie, you got to tell me about this. You have a brick outside of St. Elmo's Steakhouse in Indiana. How did this come about? Just one time when they were redoing the street, um, we heard they were selling bricks, and look, we got one, and then I had the logo put. 
That's awesome. So you love, and what a great dinner, huh? You got Spider-Man, McBride, Mike Salinas, Del Flores, Jasmine. What a dinner, huh? Oh, what a dinner. It was so awesome to meet them. They're so cool. And to go to dinner with some awesome people. Great PRI, great PRI great. for you. Oh yeah, had a great time um, coming to an end. We're gonna leave tomorrow and um, can't wait till next year. Awesome, thanks so much Lori for everything you do. Thank you. The hardest part was leaving. The Spider-Man up bright and early at 4 a.m. headed to Indianapolis Airport. But the PRI show was truly amazing. Like I said, if you've never been there, make your plans to check it out. It is wonderful. It's entertaining. It's beneficial. It'll get you hooked up with all the best parts and people that you need for your race program. And it is like Wes Buck said from Drag Illustrated, if you're not at least getting a little bit of product in this sport you're not out there doing your due diligence because there's companies that want to support you if you'll take the necessary steps wait a minute is it the legendary jesse james are you really the legendary jesse james sometimes only in my own mind what do you got on your hat cycle drag you're the man do you watch the cycle drag youtube channel no but you should. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that you'll start watching, and I appreciate it. Yep. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Jesse James. Will we see him on a Nitro Harley soon? Make sure you check out the interview that we did with him and Alan Johnson. Thank you so much, Motorcycle World, for following along. Thank you for subscribing to Cycle Drag on YouTube and liking CycleDrag.com on Facebook. You get the share in the knowledge of Larry Spider-Man McBride, Nitro Harley Racer, Michael B. Land. It's a lot of fun what we're doing here, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Have a great time. And be toured through the Sun in office here and all the machines have been absolutely fantastic. Best part about it, the pay is great. The pay is great. Jackson, want to give us a check? It's coming, coming from you. Thanks for watching, CycleDrag.com. <laughs> we are closing down PRI. What is your name, young lady? Carol. Well, and you're a big race fan? Yes. Where are you from? Indianapolis. Thanks for all your hard work. Do you know, look at, we have Del Flores, Larry Spider-Man McBride, Tim Haley, Michael Beeland. You got some motorcycle drag racing royalty. We hope that you can follow along. Can we get you to a race this year? I, I, it, I, I have a lot of friends that race, so. We, we want to see you there. I'll thank be at, I'll be at the races. Well, thank you for your hard work. We appreciate it. Thank you. We got new fans every day, don't we? How sure about it, guys? What a show it You're was. You're a good there. man, Jack. It was a great show, wasn't it? it was a great Tim, show. Tim, Tim's hiding in the background. Tim's running. It was it was a great show. Let's let's break this thing down. We're we're getting ready to leave. Everybody have a good time though. Del, yes. it was great to see you back. Absolutely. Always a pleasure. Love it. Thank you, Jack. All right, guys, let's head on to get Good. ourselves an iced tea, right? Iced Absolutely. tea and a cheeseburger. Let's Water. do it. All right. I drink. Good seeing you. <laughs> Thank you. We do hope to see her at a race, and we hope to see you at a race as well. We hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour of the performance racing industry trade show, a lot of bench racing, and everything in between. Thanks so much, guys. Lots of racing and interviews available on this channel. All you got to do is subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube, smash the bell for notifications, and like CycleDrag.com on Facebook. Much more coming.